Hello and welcome once again to this series of videos on how to create, locate and um, share educational technology videos um, that are openly licensed uh, that could have been adopted from open licensed videos or content and so on and so on. In the previous video we looked at, we located a video um, from a public domain which we we downloaded. Now in this video we want to look at how then do we edit such videos. Now you remember from the uh, video number number one that we we found these tools that we can make use of to edit videos. Now as you can see editing a video entails a lot of actions. Now as you can see uh, you can um, merge videos, you can add audio to video, you can trim video, add video, image to video, and so on and so on. So, but we are not going to demonstrate on all of them. You will be able to pick yourself any one of them and explore all of them. But for the sake of this, uh, for the purpose of this demo, I would like us to start by resizing a video. So to resize a video, you need to um, upload a video. So we are, I'm going to open um, our video folder where I saved the video that we created previously. So let me start, let me drop one of them. Okay. Okay, our video is done, is done um, uploading. We're just waiting for for, for which to give us um, the option to edit it. So it's going through the process of um, uh, the preview. There it is. So you see, for, ex for instance, you see the first, because I was sharing the entire screen, uh, the video shows all the, the cascaded uh, screen. So then we want to trim it so that we can at least remove um, uh, <clears throat> the first part which is not really a content. So while before we do that I want us to explore the tools here. You see that there's a tool to trim and uh, or cut. There is a there is a tool for cropping. There is a tool for rotating. This is for flipping. This is for to change the resolution, to change the, the, the volume or just the volume, change the speed at which the video plays make the video to loop if it's necessary. Here you can stabilize the video if it's unstable, you can add the image or text, or you can also remove the logo. But I want, I'd like to caution once you again to say, I'm able to edit this video because this part, this particular video is, is, is my own work, okay? And uh, if I would have want to edit another video, I will have to edit the video that we downloaded from the public domain, which is open. All right, let us start by trimming. To trim the video, you may simply um, uh, start um, trimming until you go to the point where you would want to start with the actual recording, okay? The actual content. So let's say this is where I want to start and perhaps Towards the end here, I would want to, okay, perhaps I want to trim up to somewhere, up to somewhere here, okay. So this is, this is trimming. Let's say I want to crop this video, All right? So I want to crop it, so I'll choose the cropping. Uh, I do not want the video to show all these things at the bottom here, and it might be this, all this open cast and stuff here. I just wanted to show the actual video, the actual screen where things are happening. Okay, so in the meantime, this is all what I would want to add, but you will be able to explore. Okay, let's also change the resolution. So the original resolution, and then um, I would perhaps say um, to change the size, maybe I will bring it to 480 pixels as a resolution. And then um, if I want to add text, um, I can choose where to add text, like, okay, um, adding text to the video. Let's 
let's expand this one to be here. Um, ah, oops, sorry about that. All right, so you 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 are able to to format the text as you can see here. You are able to change the, the text size to bold, to rise, even to change the color of the text if necessary. So you will be able to do all those things. So, but let's say we are done with with editing this video and then we then have to save it. But before we save it, I just want to confirm the cropping. Yeah, there it is. So we save our video and um, it will start encoding to enforce the edit. So while the process is ongoing, let me just once again uh, caution you that you only edit videos that you have obtained from the public domain or that are your own or that you have obtained from that are, you have confirmed that are open licensed. All right, so our video is ready, so I'll have to download it and then it will be ready to share with my students on Moodle. So in the next video, we will then look at how do we then upload such videos on, on, on YouTube or channels because we say it's always better to share the videos uh, from another um, uh, source other than sharing them directly. But we also look at how do we share them directly if it becomes a necessity.